Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, today I have an envelope punch ball project, but this one is, is kind of more of a traditional envelope really than anything else, but inside, because it's quite a big package, one of our stamp sets. And a long time ago, oh look, it's upside down. A long time ago, I tried, before the envelope punch board came along, before I even had a diagonal plate, I tried to come up with some sort of way of packaging the our DVD size um, stamp sets and it wasn't the easiest thing to do so when the when the punch board came along I was a happy girl very happy girl so I'm going to show you how to make this and it is kind of quick but I kind of went for a not a manly finish but a not girly finish to this one so this is the high tide designer series paper which is lovely I love it not all of them I have to say I don't really go in for um anchors and things like that but I like this sort of starry night sky so I'm going to show you how to make this one you obviously need your envelope punch board and you need a piece of paper to cover the R DVDs or suppose you know any kind of DVD your paper needs to be 10 and 3 quarters of an inch by 10 and 3 quarters of an inch which is 27 by 27 centimeters and as you can see when we do our score lines it's going to go straight off the page but don't worry about that I will show you how to do it um, how to make sure your lines match up. So your first punch and score line is at uh, four and one eighth of an inch, which is ten and a half centimeters. So you punch it, score it. You won't be able to go all the way down. That's fine. And then you slide it up to four and seven eighths of an inch, which is twelve and a half centimeters. And you punch and score. And then you turn it not once, but twice. And then you repeat the same, so four and one eighth of an inch, and then four and seven eighths of an inch. And now what you need to do is you need to turn it over and you need to rotate it so that we can join up these lines here. So four and one eighth of an inch, punch and score, and that's now joined up. You see this is a pattern that doesn't really do it for me, but I love the other side. And then slide it along again to four and seven eighths, punch and score, and that's joined that up. Turn it all the way round to do the same again. Four and one eighth, and four and seven eighths, and I'm sorry, I'll repeat that in metric. That's 10 centimeters, sorry, 10 and a half and 12 and a half. Now, what we need to do is come back to the side. This is the side I want to have showing, and now in sort of the traditional style of, of making an envelope, I'm gonna join up my lines so using the score line that you've already made and the score guide which is this little bit that sticks out we just need to score because actually it's already been punched so for both of those and then all the way around 180 degrees and do the same again Oops. and that is all of the punching and the scoring done which you possibly oh no you're not going to see that on either side it's done you have to trust me so quickly round the corners and then there are some sections there are tiny little squares let me see if I can tip that so you can see it um, there's little squares here just where this little knobbly bit is we don't need those at all so you can just cut those out All of those four square, four little squares, all gone. And then just after that, all you need to do is fold these score lines. So two on each side. So keep folding. Oops. A little bit more care than I've just shown. There we go. That as well. And the final one. And then when you grab your stamp set, and I will just have to grab one that's sat on the side here. I have this one. You, it will just all fold in and match. Whoops. Match perfectly. There is not. A scrap of wibble room whatsoever so now I'm going to wrap it this one I use the um, lovely lovely new ribbon what's this one called it is called one and a quarter 
So and this is summer, summer star fruit, which is actually this colour here. And I'm going to wrap it slightly differently this time. So I'm going to go across the width rather than the length. Look at that. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, quite pleased with myself there. And then some a tiny little bit of stamping. Now this time I used, um, on this one I used Raspberry Ripple, which is one of the in colours that's going to be finishing later this um, year, in the summertime. So, and I used the matching ribbon that goes with it. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use Gumball Green. So the green and the yellow is pretty cool. So I need a piece of Whisper White, which I managed to forget to get out. So me a moment while I'm reaching under my desk and probably just stuck my head in the camera and I'm going to grab some Whisper White. There we go. Whisper White cardstock, Gumball Green and this stamp set is perfect uh, penance which normally, yeah, I mean it does come as a bundle with the with the lovely banner framelits but I fancied using circles. No idea why, <laughs> just did. So I have one of those there and then I want one that's close to the edge because I've, I'm popping up the little um, A. So that's down at the bottom. Move those out of the way. And I've got the two and three eighths of an inch circle for this one. It's not a circle at all, it's a scallop. It's a scallop circle. Half inch circle which will go around this little A. That'll be my phone ringing. <laughs> And then some cardstock, two and a half inch circle with the gumball green. And some dimensionals to pop it all up. So I shall think I shall have three on the back of this one. And then I shall take one on the back of the, the little half inch circle down here. So three on here. One onto there. And then I did hang this one actually off the matching um, stitch satin ribbon, but I'm not going to this time. I'm just going to stick it straight on, apart from anything because I forgot when I tied on the bow. <laughs> I'm lucky I managed to get any kind of a bow, let alone untying it and starting again. So let's position that up. And that is how you make an envelope mini box, a deep envelope for one of our stamp sets or any regular DVD. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me.